Hello, my name is Andy. I am the Brit in Hungary. Hello, my name is Kitty. I'm Hungarian. Hungary. And today, we is in Aruba. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good morning. It's Monday. It's nine o'clock. He's roasted. And uh, we're off to eat then. Oh, my is windy. We're off to uh, Eden Beach. Today, look, I've got a special guest to Eden Beach again. Yeah, that's a little, yeah, a little while. Yes, you've got to be back at the course starts at one till I'm not. Seven lessons today. Seven lessons. Holy crap. Okay, so we're heading to the bus station. No more, no more arsing around on spoonless. We're on the bus. We're on the bus. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Stuck in awesome seaweed or something, I think. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, as far as I'm aware, there's no no dangerous wildlife. There's turtles. But they're, they're not dangerous, they're just probably like, suck you to death, I imagine. Uh, but there's some, um, there's some pelicans. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I've gone now, but they're doing some like spectacular sort of diving into the sea, fishing. I'll try and fat you catch one. Yeah. And there's flamingos. Um, they're, well, most places on the island, but they're, they're concentrated on Flamingo Island. Where's it called Flamingo Island? Flamingo Beach. Oh, yeah, Flamingo Beach. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm not too bothered about flamingos, really. I've always loved walking along beaches. It's probably one of the most liberating meditation, mindfulness kind of things you can do. I used to do it for hours and hours with my dogs. There was a there was a wall we used to do up at Blakeney Point, and I think it's like six miles there, six miles back on the shingle, and you'd never see a soul. And it was just absolutely lovely. What the tide is washed up. It's a beautiful mermaid. This this rock here is, is really weird. If you um from the sea, it, it looks like there's a bear sitting on the beach. See what I mean? You know, it looks like a looks like a bear. I mean, a dump or something. Or just my my warped imagination. Uh, just an hour or so on the beach, that's enough actually, even though it's um, it's overcast, uh, I can feel that, uh, yeah, it's, the sun's really caught me a bit, but um, somebody has got to go to work this afternoon, so, uh, so we're, training it was a training course, okay, uh, so yeah, so we're heading back, it's only about half past 11, um, so yeah, on the bus stop. Look, we've kind of 
accidentally catch the lift on the, the courtesy hotel bus. Uh, so it's a bit, um, bit posh. Tuesday morning, the crack of dawn. It's very early. We um, we had rather a lot to drink last night, uh, and but today is the big sightseeing day, and there's only one thing for it. It's a fried egg sandwich. Yeah, excellent. Oh, I found a little a little hair of the dog as well. Yay! Here we are on the class trip. Um, <laughs> poor Dario looks really stressed. If um, if you're a teacher, you know what I'm talking about. But when you go on on a class trip like this, like you spend all your time counting, because your absolute worst nightmare <laughs> is to lose a student. Um, so yeah, he's looking really stressed, and I I, I feel his pain. Excellent. And we've ended up in the naughty seats at the back again. Yeah. I hope they are stable. Well, yeah. After, they look stable. After the Egypt experience, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, but. Oh. It's like well, this is where we were sitting, and there was a, a couple sitting next to us. It's like one of those airplane decompression ac accidents. Look, all the seats have been chucked off, and all the tray tables are down. God, this is going to be a f***ing big insurance claim. My neck is killing me. Cresolution acid metabolism. Don't even get me started. Whoa. Mm. 
Aha, interesting. Yeah, my um, my plan tomorrow is to hire a bicycle. So yes, very interesting. So there's a there's a guy here making fresh cocktails with coconut, and um, I know from experience that it's the best laxative in the world. So no, thank you. My God, new player. Actually, yeah, that was the last time I was in this park. Um, I had, I had uh, what was that? I can't remember. Some sort of cocktail. Um, I was on. I went. I was pony training, and uh, the guy just sort of climbed up a tree, caught, we got some coconuts. And I was like, do the Dominican Republic, yeah, and uh, we poured some rum into the coconut, and we were drinking, yeah. And I'll never forget. I had the worst diarrhea ever, and um, did them have those? Pony training. Uh, so we're going yeah, what we're doing. It's, um, yeah, it's, 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 quite, it's really interesting um, sort of geology actually. There's, um, yeah, there, there's like uh, black lava, volcanic, with mixed in with um, with coal. Uh, yeah, and I, I think kind of thing what's happened is the, um, yeah, the, the lava's just sort of like squeezed up at the bottom of the sea, and it's made it shallow enough for the for the coral to colonize it and then with tectonic lifting it's sort of yeah the the island has sort of appeared yeah and it's this weird mix of coal uh, this this behind me this well, this used to be like a bridge like the other one but it collapsed a few years ago apparently so uh yeah. i mean yeah look look at this for example so there's there's um you can see the the lava and then there's sort of the coral reef sort of like just formed on top of the lava. Yeah, very interesting. everyone again <laughs> I think um, I think grown-ups are probably worse than kids on these kind of trips I think but I think we're all here jolly good So here we are at Baby Beach. Uh, so, a bit of geography. Uh, Venezuela is about 25 kilometers that way. Uh, the neighboring island of Curaçao is, well, yeah, it's that way about 120 and 30 kilometers. And uh, yeah, it's just called Baby Beach. Beautiful, 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 beautiful oil refinery. Yes, wasn't it? 
Now, in, in the 1920s, they, uh, they found um, clues of oil in Venezuela here. And, um, yeah, they built the oil refinery here to process all the oil from Venezuela. And it got, I mean, the war, uh, Britain got most of this aviation fuel uh, from the refinery here. And then when America joined the war a bit later, they got most of their fuel from here as well. And uh, the Largo oil refinery is called, and it became the biggest in the world. Um, I think it's, it's scaled back quite a bit, I don't even know if it's deep opening. But yeah, it was um, on this paradise island, one of the biggest oil refineries in the world, we believe. So yeah. Yeah, apparently the, the locals aren't happy. This has always been like um, a, a local's beach. And um, recently the, the island authorities have allowed companies to start building like um, hotels and stuff on the beach. And the locals aren't happy. Uh, and I don't blame them to be honest. Got it. What's the rhyme? The limerick, wonderful bird is the pelican, its beak can hold more than his belly can or something. Like There she goes, off to school. Uh, yeah. Well, that, that's, a, that's a bit of a bummer. We've been, <laughs> been out all day. Um, and she's had to go back into the school, back on the course. Uh, for another few hours. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and she's not going to finish till eight. Yeah, I've got to go home. And I don't know, drink some rum and swim in the pool, I think. And try not to feel too guilty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's been quite, a, quite an interesting kind of day. Um, we've been on lots of different beaches today, and I've got to say that none of them have beat um, Eagle Beach yet. Although that last beach, Surfside Beach, was, um, was pretty cool with the aeroplanes flying over the top. That was pretty good. Yeah, something else that, um, that struck me sort of uh, touring the island today is that you would think, yeah, the wind, exactly. Um, you would have thought of an island with this much wind constantly and this much sunshine. You would think the island would be covered with uh, like solar panels and, and wind turbines. And I've hardly, I've only ever seen like one or two houses with solar panels on. And I saw oh, probably about a dozen wind turbines up at the coast. Um, earlier but that's it the only thing i can imagine is is that yeah it's probably horrendously expensive um, heat stuff if they're not actually manufacturing it um, it must be here yeah, pretty expensive i suppose i don't really know i'll, um, I'll ask around and find out why it might just be because the energy is incredibly cheap but i doubt it because i think it's um it's all sort of uh fossil fuel i think most of the energy production so yeah i don't i don't really know so yeah, it seemed interesting, very interesting thing. We found this little shortcut um, on the, the walk home from the, 
from the course but Kitty hates it she's got a bit of a thing about sort of snakes and lizards and I've done a really really good job of convincing that there was no snakes on the island and then we saw a dead one just about here somewhere and uh, she asked the guy at the hotel if there was any snakes and he said oh yeah there's loads there's rattlesnakes constrictors all kinds of things so so now she's terrified to come down snake alley on her own here so I have to escort her from college every day in case she, giant python grabs hold of her or something yeah iguanas they're, they're everywhere they're like um i don't know like cats in the trees and um they're, they're vegetarians uh, everyone i meet uh, but, you know i tell them that they're vegetarians but people are still terrified of them. i've got um, some of the girls on the course they were uh, they were up all night trying to chase one out of their out of their hotel room um yeah i mean, i'm trying not to laugh but it's quite funny <laughs> Oh, shit. Boy. 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 Boy.